hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel today's video i'm going to be sharing with you two easy and delicious crock pot recipes i really hope you enjoy and let's go ahead and get started Okie dokie y'all, we are putting dinner in the crock pot. I say that so often, but I truly enjoy it. Um, I have got five boneless, skinless chicken thighs here. I'm just gonna add these to my slow cooker. And then I'm gonna season them on both sides with some of this Complete season, but do you complete? You can use whatever you want, and we're making this up. This is going to be one of those ones that I hope it turns out. I got the the inspiration from um, Megan over at Megan's Kitchen. I'll have her channel linked down below. She did a. Um, chicken and rice recipe in the crock pot and I was like I'm gonna try to do a version of this so we're gonna do a cheesy broccoli chicken and rice crock pot recipe so I've got my chicken in there we're gonna take in mix together one packet of chicken gravy and I'm just I'm gonna mix this with the cup of water that it calls for on the back we're also gonna mix together with the gravy packet we're gonna do a can of broccoli cheese soup and a can of cream of chicken soup. So I'm gonna mix all this together in this big measuring cup I have here, and then we will just pour it over the top. So we're just gonna add this mixture over top of our chicken. Now, the broccoli cheddar soup has like little things of broccoli in it clearly i'm gonna add some more broccoli but i'm gonna add it in later because i don't want it to just be mush and you not even know that it's in there so we will add in a bag of frozen broccoli later to give it more broccoli but we're gonna start it out just like this we're gonna let the chicken cook the best part about cooking chicken thighs in the slow cooker is that they only take about four hours to cook so i'm starting this about lunchtime. So I'm probably gonna cook it for about three hours and then add the broccoli in about an hour or so till it's time to serve. And then the rice, I will cook separate and add it in last. I've never had luck cooking pasta or rice in the crock pot. I've tried it a bunch of different ways. I've tried different recipes and it just never turns out. It's just mush. So uh, when I seen Megan do hers, she did it separate and she added the chicken last. I was like, that's such a brilliant idea. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and start this, get this cooking up, and then we will add in the cooked rice and add in some broccoli later. I'm just cooking this on low for about four hours. So we had about an hour till it was time to serve. So I went ahead and added in my whole bag of frozen broccoli. I just added it in frozen and gave it a mix and then put the lid back on and just let it cook for about an hour. Now I'm just going to chop up my chicken. I use tongs normally, it just falls right apart. And then I ended up keeping it simple and using one of these Ben's Ready Rice. And y'all, that was so good. I will definitely be keeping these in stock more often for crock pot recipes like this. All I did was break it up in the bag. I didn't microwave it and heat it or anything. I just broke it up, dumped it in there, gave it a stir, put the lid back on it, let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. And it was so good good it was so cheesy and delicious 
and using that ready rice made it really convenient <laughs> just to have it already there I didn't have to cook anything extra I didn't have to dirty up any more dishes to make rice I just dumped it in and went We just served ours with some extra cheese on top and y'all I'm serious highly recommend this was so good it's something different I've never had luck with rice but doing it this way like Megan said it made a total game changer we are going to be making some mushroom onion Salisbury steaks in the crock pot today so I've got a half of a cup of water here and I'm going to take and mix up this brown gravy packet in with this and then we're also going to mix together in this same bowl a can of cream of mushroom and a can of french onion soup mix i have got my six patties here seared up i shared this last week it's kind of the same way how i do start my french onion burgers um, if you sear them and lock in the seasoning that you season them with on the stove top. It will help lock in that flavor and it also helps render off quite a bit of fat that you don't have to worry about in your crock pot later. And it really helps. It helps with like the gravy portion. So I do that for, if I do any kind of like beef patty recipes, I always do I render it off like that. So I've got my mixture here. I'm gonna add in a little bit of it just to coat the bottom. Got the church bells going off, so I hope y'all can hear. And then we're gonna add in our patties. Okay, and then now we're gonna add on the rest of that gravy. And I am doing these with mushrooms and onions, but since mushrooms don't take near as long to cook, I don't want them sitting in my crock pot for six hours. So I'm going to just add the onions in right now. I just took and chopped up one whole onion and we're just gonna add it in for right now and then later on say like an hour or two before it's time to serve we will uh, add in the sliced mushrooms just because like i said i don't want them to get mushy and yucky so we'll kind of do this one in steps Push them down in that gravy. And then we will put the lid on it, cook it on low for about six hours. And then we'll come back and add the mushrooms later. Now it is time to add in the mushrooms. So I'm just gonna give the burgers a flip and then we will add in, I just used one container of sliced mushrooms that ended up being just enough. And like I said at the beginning, they don't take near as long to cook, so they only need about an hour or so in the crock pot. So I just add those in, give them a good stir, make sure they're all in that gravy, and then we'll come back to thicken it up. So I just made a little bit of a cornstarch slurry and if you don't know what that is, that is just equal parts cornstarch to water and I just mixed a little bit of that up and added it in there, stirred it up really good and it just thickened it up perfectly. The gravy was delicious. This was awesome. For my first time making this and just trying you know, out a new recipe, this was so good. 
and here it is when it was all done y'all this was so good y'all already know i served it with one of my favorite crock pot side dishes the crock pot mashed potatoes i shared these last week so i will have that video linked down below for you guys i didn't want to bore you with sharing them again like full detail but highly recommend crock pot mashed potatoes if you've never tried them also cooked up some grand frozen biscuits and a can of peas and here is my plate I don't know what it is about just coming up with the recipes, but it really makes my heart happy. And especially when the family raves over it, I was so excited. I will definitely have this recipe typed up for you guys so y'all can have it. And I want it for myself so I can remember exactly how I made this because I will definitely be making this again. And that is it y'all. I really hope you enjoyed these two super easy but delicious crock pot recipes. I don't know what it is. Sometimes you just have to get in the kitchen and experiment and sometimes it turns out amazing. And both of these recipes, it turned out amazing. Highly recommend. I'll have all the recipes linked down below for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.